guys, welcome back to Close Embrace. Today I'm going to be doing a May favorites video for you. I know I'm a little bit late because it's like we're a week into June already, but better late than never. It's what I always say anyway. I want to apologize now just in case you see me like profusely sweating throughout the course of this video because this room is like a toaster oven when you turn on more than one light. Uh, and I have three on right now. Whenever I film a video, I need like every light on in here, like the lighting is so poor. And then I need like a spotlight light on me, which like makes me heat up and die. I need like an extra air conditioning unit in this room just for like when I film videos. So to kick off this favorites, I'm going to show you this Orly Cuticle Therapy Cream. Um, it's got vitamin A and E in it. I picked it up at Sally's. I want to say it was like eight dollars with Sally's card or like seven something um, for two fluid ounces which is this is gonna last me a while I'll show you the inside uh, a little bit goes a long way with this product it kinda looks like a tub of margarine uh, you don't need a whole lot literally just like you dab your ring finger in it and then I kinda just like put it on all my cuticles I use it for when I give myself like manicures at home I'll put it on and then I'll let the cuticle soften with the cream on and then I'll clip it or push it back uh, I tend to get really dry, peely cuticles if I don't take care of them really well. So this has been helping me to kind of reduce the amount of peely cuticles because I can get really painful if they peel too much and it kind of just looks disgusting. Your fingers get all like raw and red. So this has been really helpful if you're looking for a good cuticle cream that's inexpensive. Sticking in the realm of nails, which I've been really into, I had mine, I was like growing my nails out for like the past month, and then like last week I broke them at work, like three of them, like two on one hand and one on the other, and like I broke them pretty far down, so they were looking really ratchet, so I just kind of like cut them all off and was like, I'm going to start over, so now they're just like short and hot pink, but this has been like my favorite color lately and I keep painting my nails like one color and then I'll take it off a couple days later and like replace it with this. I just, I've, and I've been in love with this color. Um, and it's from Revlon and it's number 410 in Dreamer. So that is the color. Um, it's really pretty. It doesn't take many swatches to get the color to be like exactly how it is in the bottle either. It's not like a really translucent color. You can do one coat and it literally shows up fine. I always do two coats because I just think it looks neater and it looks more even. Uh, but really, the color is fantastic. And I have two lipsticks to show you. Um, the first one is from Milani and it is in nude cream and they changed the packaging of their lipsticks and I think they even changed the formulation a little bit I'm not exactly sure but this is my this is the color and I'll swatch on my hands it's a really pretty nude with um but it's not like a pale like dead nude like it's like an on point like peachy pink nude uh, it looks really great on and uh, I put a little bit of gloss over it just to kind of top it off, but it looks really great on its own too. The next lipstick I want to show you is Buxom. So this is the higher end. I think I paid $22 for this lipstick. And uh, this is in Nudist. And <laughs> this is the color. It's really pale. It's got shimmer in it. Um, this is like your typical like dead pale nude. Like right here, kind of just showing up as like a really sheen kind of color. Like you can just see how shiny it is. It's really moisturizing on your lips. It's not like drying. It's like, it, it's really like a cream on your lips. Uh, the only thing I'll say about this formulation is that like it's great on. However, it sucks in the tube because it's so creamy that like the lipstick moves around in its tube. Like it's not sturdy enough. And if you roll it up too high when you're putting it on and you apply it too hard, um, the, it's just going to break. It's going to break off the thing and it's going to become like a melty mess. That's what it feels like. It feels like you like left it out in the sun too long. Now moving into kind of fashion favorites of the month of May. Uh, I've been really in love with these shorts and not even just these but like the brand in general. Um, these are Jessica Simpson and I got them at Marshall's for like 15 bucks, 15.99 or something like that. I got these ones. These are just like a regular low rise. And then I got a high rise pair with like, it's like a four button high rise, like, you know, high waisted shorts. Um, those are in the wash right now, so I can't, I can't show you those, but these shorts have stretch in them. So if you're somebody who's like me, where you kind of have like a narrow upper body, you're like more pear shaped and you have like hips and a booty and like thighs <laughs> and 
you find denim shorts can be hard to wear because denim can be really constricting and it could be like that thick denim that doesn't really give um, and that's uncomfortable especially in a high-waisted short or you have the problem where like low-rise shorts like show too much of like your butt crack these are cool because they have elastic in them so they stretch they give you feel like you can move you don't feel like you can't breathe or like they're cutting off your circulation and they're just really comfortable to like throw on you don't even have to worry about a thing you just throw them on you know you're gonna be comfortable all day and you just go next thing are maxi skirts this is my black one I actually have two black ones and then I bought a red one because everybody's been saying I need to add some color in my life because it's spring and gonna be summer so I got this red one to wear with uh, this Rolling Stones t-shirt that I have, this vintage Rolling Stones t-shirt. It looks really cute. Uh, I love these because you can wear them up a little bit higher if they're long enough for you and you can wear it with a crop top and it's not too revealing. Or you can fold the top line down, wear it with a regular t-shirt. I just think these are really comfortable, extremely easy to wear, and like it's like something you don't even need to think twice about. Like I just throw them on with a t-shirt, I tie the t-shirt in like a 90s knot at the bottom, and I throw on a pair of like just flip flops or sandals or whatever and I just go like it's the easiest outfit ever like when in doubt throw on a maxi skirt I also love maxi dresses um, I am somebody who's really tall though I'm 5'8 so maxi dresses whenever I wear them to work with the skirts people always compliment me and they're like I want to try one on and they put them on and they're like oh I'm too short for this and I don't think that you can be too short for a maxi I think you just have to play it right like you might need to wear um, like a, a platform wedge or like a platform shoe to kind of raise you up. I actually do think they look really cute on people with platforms. Um, I don't always wear them with platforms because sometimes that makes me too tall, but if you're shorter I would take advantage of how cute that looks. But if you find one that fits you right that's not too long on you, it's not going to make you look too short. It's just when you have, when you're short and you buy them they're too long and they like drag behind you then it kind of makes you look shorter. So you just have to find one that's length appropriate. Last items that I'm going to show you are a pair of shoes and I'm obsessed with shoes. I buy like a new pair of shoes a week. I've been, I've been slowing down because Mike and I are saving for our vacation that we're going on in a couple weeks. It's just like a little weekend trip for our one year anniversary. So I've been trying to save money and not spend on shoes but I saw these and I was like I must bring these home. And these are these bad boys and here they are so these are Calvin Klein um, they have a cork like a really thick cork heel with a platform uh, I don't feel like I'm super tall in these they are really comfortable under your foot I even wore these to work for like a five-hour work shift one day the only thing that bothers me on these is after wearing them for a while this being that it's patent leather is kind of a stiff ankle um, strap and it can kind of dig into your ankle as a matter of fact one day I was wearing them for too long and they were starting to hurt but I just didn't want to take them off and they left me like a little like a little cut on my ankle um, so probably need to wear these with like a band-aid or something on that part so that I because I know that they they do irritate me after a couple hours but other than that I'm obsessed with them and I'm in love with them it's rare for me to find like a heel and a platform that's not like a seven inch heel with a five inch platform. Like I can't wear those. So this is a lot more wearable for somebody of my height. So those are my favorites. I know it was kind of short, but I don't really um, experiment too much with products anymore. If there's any great products that you guys have tried in the last month or so that you think I should give a try, I would love to hear from you. You can leave them in a comment below and I'll see if I can pick them up and try them out and hopefully love them as much as you do. Uh, leave any questions below, any requests, you can inbox me or you can tweet me on Twitter. My pan handle is at Close Embrace and also I have the same one for Instagram, um, at Close Embrace. You can find me on there as well. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.